I got you. Tell me when you're ready. Uh, ready. Hey everyone, Greg Taylor from Trinity Web Media. And I'm here with my new friend, Carter Bowman. What's going on? Carter is the author of Deep Deep Ocean. And what is this one? Part-timers. Part-timers? Yeah. So I wanted to sit here. We're in New Hope, Pennsylvania, across the river from Trinity's headquarters in Stockton. I want to talk to Carter here about two things, long form content and marketing his book. So Carter, fantastic to meet you. Thanks for doing this with us, man. So here we go. So as an author, what are you doing to market your book and to get yourself out there. I love the fact that you I want to see this again, okay? I love yeah. the fact... I'm gonna stand by the Oh, you can stand wherever you want. I just want to stand by <laughs> I love the fact that you're out here meeting people. Absolutely. Do, because a lot of our business, we still do things people people. We believe in, you know, there's no longer business to business marketing. There's no longer business to consumer marketing. It's all people to people. Right. You know what I mean? So you out here signing books and letting people read things and see is awesome. So. Yeah. How does that fit in with your overall like marketing strategy and getting your name out there and everything else you do? Absolutely. So the biggest thing that I've learned is even though Amazon is marketing is like, oh, you can make a million sales online, meeting somebody face to face, word of mouth, getting a presence and doing like a deep cut inside a community sells 10 times more copies Absolutely. than an Amazon like ad or like a click on the sidebar ever could. So right. as over the past year I've like run this business, I've learned this is where I'm growing as an author. And as an author, it's about readership, but it's not just about have you heard the name, it's about read, like have you read the book and are you actually gonna talk about it to right. someone else? That's the only chance I have of actually growing as opposed to, I don't want a $10 sale, I want $50 over the next five books. So, so you're investing, so you're investing in, in what we call a lifetime value of the relationship, yes. right? So it's, it's you know, like Kevin and I are now, we'll, we'll buy one of each books, we'll give it away on our local site, you know, yeah. as, a, as, a, as, as a contest, you know, for yeah. our subscribers. And the thing is, is like, you can't put a dollar amount, you can't put anything like that on a relationship. Exactly. You know what I mean? Or an experience, and like what everybody is doing is, so, it sounds to me you value the relationship and the experience yes. way over the, what is it, Hamilton? The, the, Andrew, the, the Alexander Hamilton on the $10 bill? Yeah, <laughs> you know, exactly. because, because that's gonna take you way, way farther, way farther. And then the other thing that I really like that you said is like, Amazon is a part of the puzzle. Yes. Right, but this is a bigger part. Yes. And this is like, you know, a friend of mine, Ted Rubin, everything is, you know, return on relationship. Exactly. And that's exactly what you're doing. What other things are you doing to market your book and to, to keep your name out there in the forefront? Sure. So one of the biggest things that I'm doing is I go into groups and communities. Like I'm going to Lenape Middle School in a month. And, and where is that middle school? Uh, it's in Doylestown. In Doylestown, okay. And you're going and you're interacting with the kids. The kids are then talking to each other. Some of them have the goal of writing. My biggest genre and like the biggest demographic that I hit isn't young adults. It's not adults. It's people who love writing, people who are writers themselves. Now you're like actually going part of that community. So by doing book clubs, by doing you know events where I'm showing right. my face, people want to read it. People don't know, they don't know my name. Right. They don't care who I am. Right. So why would I expect them to, unless I can... Connect to them and meet them and somehow, and give them an experience. Exactly. You know, like I'll, I'll never forget like the first time I met like uh, a professional athlete or a musician that I like, and then how much more I like their work. Mm -hmm. Or followed their career over the time because we had a, a shared experience a moment in time. Yeah. So the, the last thing is like long form content. Yeah. We are creators like you know, blog posts, short form content yeah, with goals and purposes and videos, podcasts. How do you see the long form, meaning your medium, yeah, like the book, still fitting in the landscape of content cons consumption? Sure. So first of all, people are still reading. You know, people are buying books. People collect books. Right. This is going to have a much bigger impact when it's shared with another person. When you have a blog post, they put you know two minutes into reading it, they'll pick up like one piece of information. This is going to stick into somebody's memory. Right. But it has to be really good because the second somebody feels like you're wasting their time, you're right. done. So it's a bigger risk, but it's also a bigger reward. Right. And then at the same time, with doing an ebook sale, it's something that's sitting on right. their library forever and they're connecting it. Now they have an identity in the book. Like this right. book impacted me more so than just, you know, I read an article, I took 10 tips away on how to sell more. Right. So you said something interesting that you have 
have a limited time span. Yeah. A limited time to attract somebody's attention and keep your attention. Do you have, in your writing strategy, do you have like the first X amount of pages, I have to be super captivating, super compelling, or I'm yes. gonna lose the reader? You have to, it's called story beats. Yep. So every set amount of like pages or you know time spent in the story, there has to be something the reader was not expecting. Right? It has to be something that it, you know the traditional character death something happens like in that word. But I have it paced out where there's always some cliffhanger. There's a mystery being solved, but at the same time, there's a new mystery that's so, being So you follow the hero's journey? Yeah. The storytelling you arc of the hero's journey? Yes. Like, a lot of our thing is, and we talk a lot about storytelling and marketing, right? Yeah. yeah. Because that's what we have to do. We have to tell our story. We have to tell our brand story. Because we feel like with our company, there's three different brand stories. There's me and Kevin's brand story as the founders of the company. There's our employees' brand story. And then there's our clients' brand story. Yeah. And how do they all come together, you know? It's very different, and you have to tap into one of them. The biggest thing that we like to do, and I'm sure you do with your book, is yeah. agree or disagree with me, is there's conflict, mm -hmm. and then there's resolution. So it's that, I always say it's that, ah, that, ah, like the gasping moment, like, ah, yeah. and then it's the, the resolution resolving into, ah, the okay. Yes. <laughs> you know, so it seems like storytelling is storytelling is storytelling. Yeah. Are we doing it in a five minute podcast? Are we doing it in a short video, blog post, or are we doing it long form? Fiction. Exactly. It's all. It, it all works hand in hand. It has to. You know. Otherwise, like, I mean, even here, it's a podcast. You got. I got introduced. The question right. is, am I saying anything worth hearing? Right. Hopefully, I won the audience over, and now there's some resolution to that. Well, I, I, I definitely think that you did. <laughs> so my last question is, you got to tell me, why are you freaked out about amusement park haunted houses, dude? <laughs> <laughs> it's, well, it's, any answer that starts off with dude and then he starts, <laughs> it's gonna be a good one. <laughs> I didn't know this. So amusement park haunted houses, all the scares come from the back. Oh, and so because they're pushing you along, and those are the people that grab you. Those are the people that are like pulling you away from the group because it keeps the momentum. I go there with my girlfriend. She's like, oh, I want to be scared. So she gets out front. Meanwhile, I'm in the back, and every teenager with a goblin mask is like pulling on my shirt and freaking me out. <laughs> okay, so yeah. point taken. I don't like haunted houses. Either. So, so where can people who want to know more about you, how can they be in touch with you? How can they get the book if they're not here in New Hope or et cetera, yeah. et cetera? Absolutely. So you can always hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, uh, Carter M. Bowman. You can also find my books at carterbowmanbooks.com and on Amazon. We're actually going to be doing a promotion where we're doing digital copies, which are going to be free for Deep Deep Ocean and part-timers on Amazon only the weekend of August 18th. So be sure to get it there. Fantastic. Carter, great meeting you. Hey, thanks. Well. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Sorry about the Harley Davidson. Okay. But we'll catch you next time on the new marketing show and everything else we do for Trinity.